Finally, okay, so here is a red-tailed hawk. Yes, I finally recorded a red-tailed hawk after many weeks of not filming one. Here he is. Yes, there he is. He's bobbing his head. Yes. I'm not sure. Well, I'm surprised it didn't fly off. Let me try something. Yeah, I know. No. Yeah, I'm looking at the hawk's talons. Oh, I just lost focus on him. It must be the heat that's causing it. There we go, I zoomed out and then I'm zooming back in again. What do you think about me putting my tripod out? You think the hawk will I think let, let me put the, the tripod? Step out, he's gonna run off. That's why. Because he's sort of uh, watching what we're doing. He knows where he is. Yeah, the hawk's not even preening at all. Usually, if they're preening, they're calm, but if they're like. Yeah, he's like. Kind of has his head out this way a little bit. And he does turn his head around a little bit. But most of the time he's turning his head. I really want to put the tripod out, I really do. It's just a shame that the heat is causing, like I can't, I can't seem to zoom in too close. I can, I can do it on optical zoom just fine, but once I go in digitally, um, it gets blurry. Yeah, so right here is really good. I'm getting a really good video from this zoom level right here that I'm doing it at. This is perfect. I can see the full hawk completely. You want me to move up? No, no, no. We're good, we're good. Oh, the hawk is preening, that's great. And the clarity's better. Right. I'm gonna get out of my car and we'll just bury. 
no, I don't want to scare them away. I just, I just want to get a better close-up. This is, this is really good though. Why don't you just let me move up a little bit? Okay, we're moving up a little bit. Car. He's scratching his head a little bit. There we go, yeah. I'm actually getting all this on camera. Yeah, the hawk's looking down. No, we the hawk's looking the, uh, straight down. Bobcat. The bobcat's right over here too. Oh, really? mm -hmm. Yeah, the same place. The bobcat, the raccoons, all in this area. Mm-hmm. Mm. looking right at me. This red-tailed hawk's looking right at me. Okay, he turned his head a little bit. What are those flying in the distance? In the distance, probably vultures. So um, let me show you where they are. They're right. Right to the left of the bird. They're doing thermals. Yeah, they're way up there. Yeah, yeah they're definitely vultures, all right. Okay, so now back to the hawk again. He looks small. Is he a small one? Do I don't know. Um, the way that I'd be able to know is if it, he had his back turned. But he doesn't. I'm only seeing the front, so I can't see the back of his tail. It's the tail that makes the resemblance. If it has brown stripes on its tail rather than red, you know, it, it goes from brown and tan stripes to like a completely red tail. Mm. Like, as red as you can get. Hmm. Those, um, the red so feathers, weird. it takes two years for the red-tailed hawk to get its adult feathers in. Gonna move this, let's see. Get this tilted up a little bit further. Okay. Or right, am I gonna get something again? Where'd I put it at? Oh, is it still here? Yeah, I don't know if that red tail hawk noticed that. Hmm, it's tail. I'm looking at its tail. <laughs> it's funny. Its tail is actually um, leaning against a branch. Mm -hmm. Oh, too late. To your right. All right. To your right. Yeah, we're to your right. we're good. We're good. Where? To your right. <laughs> to the very right, as far as you can look, to the right there. The, the bare branch. Over the to the left of that, just a little oh, bit. Oh, I see him now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, there he is. is. Roll down the window again. I thought he was going to hide. He thought he was being slick. Uh, back in 
yeah, those tree branches aren't really blocking him that much. I can still see this hawk, although he's a little... Wow, he's even closer this time. I'm very impressed. Although his eyes are blocking the tree branch. Yeah. Give me a second here, okay? I wonder if we pulled up. I'm gonna. I mean, I can still see this hawk even with the window closed. Just so you know. Nope. Now it's now everything's blocking it. Let's see where he goes now. I'm still filming it. Oh, and goes through out of my sight and probably somewhere yeah, over there. Did you see him from there, Jeremy? Yeah, hang on, let me get a zoom. So he flew over to this tree. Yep, so this is the, the second spot where he flew at. That's actually the third spot we filmed at. Still might looking. Get a view. I don't know. We might get a better view on this side. Uh, okay. I can see him, yeah. Let's see, where is it? This tree right here? Oh, I see him. Way back there towards the right. Um. Oh, uh, there's the hawk. I found him. I doubt that's the nest. Really? So I like to try to see if that's a juvenile. Yeah, I still can't see the hawk's tail, so that's... So I just don't know. I just don't know if it's a juvenile or an adult. Oh, there he goes. I didn't say a thing. He's further away now. Yeah, he just keeps going further, further away. He doesn't want us to be bothering him. So oh. stop bothering me, people. Well, I okay. guess he's gone. Alright, so I guess that's all the footage then. Until next time, I'll be seeing you.